After the explosions, and the recall, and more explosions, and another recall, it's easy to forget the fact that the Galaxy Note 7 was actually a great phone, albeit one with a very fatal flaw. Samsung has spent a lot of the past year addressing the situation. The company performed internal investigations, apologized publicly, and then announced its 8-point safety check aimed at helping avoid similar disaster in the future. A year after the Trouble Phone's launch, Samsung is back with the Note 8. The new phone picks up where its predecessor left off and incorporates some key additions from the Galaxy S8, including the Infinity Display that virtually removes the phone's side bezels. Bixby's also back with a devoted button. The smart assistant still has some work to do, but it's moving in the right direction. At 6.3 inches, the Note 8 is Samsung's biggest phone to date, a full inch larger than the first Note introduced back in 2011. It also distinguishes itself from the similarly sized S8 Plus by adding dual rear-facing cameras. Among other things, the two cameras bring some cool tricks for adjusting a picture's depth of field both before and after a picture is taken. It accomplishes the latter by saving two copies of each photo. And of course, the S Pen is back. There have been some subtle improvements to the stylus, and Samsung has added some new features, like the ability to handwrite animated GIFs and write up to 100 pages on the lock screen. On the whole, Samsung hasn't really pushed things too far here. The Note 8 isn't as loaded up with bells and whistles as its predecessor, and in fact, some pieces like battery capacity have actually taken a step back. Of course, it's understandable that the company didn't want to push things too far here, given what it's dealt with in the past year. Even so, the company has introduced enough improvements to maintain the Note's role as a top phablet, and it's priced accordingly. The phone will run about $950 when it's released on September 15th.